Today, I'm going to introduce you to the best Android weather app that you can't find on the Google Play Store. We're talking about Breezy Weather. Breezy Weather is a free, open source weather app with beautiful animations, a simplistic design, and loads of useful features. On top of this, it is super customizable. I've been using it for a while now, and I honestly think it's the best weather app out there right now for Android devices. Now, I'm going to do an in-depth review later on in the video, but first I want to show you how to install the app since you can't get it simply by going on the Google Play Store. Now, don't worry if you've never installed an app from outside the Google Play Store before. It's not difficult, it's very safe, and I'll walk you through every step of it. Alright, so here we are at the app's official GitHub page. Now, there are a few different sources you could go to to download this weather app from, but the best, in my opinion, is their official GitHub page. I'll put the link to this page in the description. Once you're here, you want to scroll down past the icon until you see download and click on the Git on GitHub image. This takes you to a release page where the newest version of the app is listed. Scroll down until you see all the different attached files here. Now for 95% of people, you're going to want to download the first file that says ARM64. So make sure you download the ARM64 file. There may be certain cases where you have a, a certain device that's incompatible with the ARM64 version and you may need to install another version. But for the majority of people using a normal Android device, the ARM64 version will work. So go ahead and click that to download it. So with the file downloaded, I'm going to click open. Now, if you've never installed an app from somewhere outside of Google Play Store, uh, for example, Google Chrome in this case, it'll give you a warning, a security warning, saying that you're not currently allowed to install apps from other sources. But you can't change the setting. So this is perfectly safe. This app's perfectly safe if you download it from their official GitHub page, so there's nothing to worry about. Go ahead and click Settings and check Allow from this source, and immediately it should continue on, prompting you with the installation page for Breezy Weather. You can click Install, and it'll go ahead and install it just like any other app would install from the Google Play Store from this point. Alright, so we can go ahead and open this and it'll give you a location prompt here so allow location access precise is better sometimes it allows you to choose approximate or precise precise will give you better uh, weather current to your location so definitely click that and while using the app is fine okay so here we go this is the interface with the weather app the main page here as you can see it's blue and there's kind of clouds light clouds and stuff that move around as you move the device around. The animations change based on the current weather and the current time of day, which is kind of cool. I think it looks nice. Um, you can see here it gives a lot of basic information. You have daily forecast, hourly forecast, and you can pick whatever different information you want to show. Like UV index, you can get UV index hourly, or daily in this case, you could get UV index hourly here. It shows air quality, pollen, um, the sun and moon, and the setting and rising of each and as well as some other things down here so it is pretty feature rich it does show a good amount of stuff um, it is not as feature rich as some of the other weather apps that exist for example this doesn't have weather radar currently built into it so you can't see weather radar if that's if that's something you like to look at but i, I think for most people that's not very necessary um, personally, I think this app is just the overall best because I think it looks the best and I think it presents the information in a way that's easy to look at simply and not have to sift through a bunch of things And if you just want to find some simple weather information. So that's basically it for this. Um, if you do go into settings, there is a ton of customization and privacy features as well, which a lot of regular weather apps don't have. Um, so for example, you could change so in download settings here, you can change how often the weather information automatically refreshes by itself, right? So to keep from potentially draining your battery very quickly. 
things like this, you could change a lot of the appearance. Uh, there's support for several different languages as well, which is good. Uh, there's a dark mode, light mode, all this kind of stuff. You can change the icon packs if you want to do so. Of course, you can change all the different units. Let's see, of course, you could you go really in-depth here. You can change the order of the different um, cards of information. You can change the order of daily trends, the hourly trends. All of this stuff is, is basically customizable, which is very nice. You could enable notifications for weather, um, notifications for precipitation, if that's something that you want. You can do a lot. A lot of different things you could customize where it pulls the weather information from uh, so accuracy may vary by place so certain places may be more accurate from certain sources for example you can change all of this stuff you can get very in-depth most people won't have to mess with any of this i'm just kind of showcasing real quick uh, there's widgets there's a live wallpaper so there's there's a lot of different stuff to look at and all of it looks nice and clean and modern uh, some other apps look kind of ugly and clunky and information's hard to see in my opinion so this one's very nice it's worked great for me so far everything is just simple and easy to look at so um and it's all open source as well and pretty privacy oriented which is nice too so that's about it for this video just a quick thing showcasing breezy weather